Hi, I'm Meredith Ashby from Element Biosciences, and welcome to part two of our interview with the VD service provider, Fire Diagnostics, with Saeed Amen, the Element FAS supporting the Fire team, Katie Havronik, their director of R&D, and Trey Blum, their technical applications manager. Let's get back to our interview. You purchased the AVD, uh, and we did the install in November and the training. I mean, how, how was the pre-installation and installation experience? The pre-installation and installation experience was smooth and Element really made it flawless. It was clear in August what was required for the installation, including when field service engineers and the field application scientists would be traveling and what their agenda was. The shipping instrument was timely and executed perfectly, and the overall installation and training materials went really well. Uh, then it, the installation was really enjoyable to watch and be a part of. The instrument is really robust and the FSCs were extremely knowledgeable and careful with the instrument. It's also great to work with them because they could just see our excitement and that field them to also be really excited to be there and help us out. That's so great to hear. Um, you know, M Missoula, Montana is always a special place in my heart as well as a great experience. Um, have you been happy with the service you've received so far? Extremely happy. Uh, any member we need to contact at Element has been quick at responding and has provided incredible service. Element has provided really support at all the levels. The support group has been incredibly responsive for any questions we have. The FAS team is always available to discuss library prep compatibilities and run setups, including advice and recommendations on how best to load the AVD and ensuring that we have a successful run no matter what. The ordering team has been great as we can order and receive kits within two days. And the team at Element has just been fantastic at all levels of the company and we really appreciate all of their support. That's, that's so great to hear. Um, so just generally, you know, how, how has your experience been so far using the AVD? Yeah, uh, using the AVD has been great. The instrument is extremely user-friendly. I like the prompts the screen gives as well as the barcodes it scans from the cartridges. Uh, it's really user-friendly to operate, prompting users every step of the way for validating that things are placed correctly and that the bays are shut correctly, which really uh, reduces the chances of error. And of course, it looks really cool while running. The experience only seems to get better as it's evident that Element has built a lot of great quality of life and technological updates coming out, and we anticipate that those releases will go smoothly. Yeah, I must admit that I was a bit of a skeptic. I used Illumina systems for years, so this was a big shift for me. Um, ultimately, we've been thrilled with instrument performance so far, and equally, equally as important, um, you know, we're thrilled with the support and service. One of my biggest concerns with going with the element of ED was a lack of knowledge on the extent of the support structure and network. Um, and as with any complex instrumentation, there have been a few hiccups, but we worked with element to quickly resolve them without any delays or struggle to get a hold of someone. Um, the support has really been uh, great so far. Element's been fantastic with answering our questions, troubleshooting with us and providing effective solutions. Thanks. Thanks for that, for that, guys. I, I know, you know, workflow improvements are something every high tech product could use and, you know, element, uh, element were no less, you know, focused on that. Um, wh where does the Avidi fit in regards to the type of services you offer to your customers? The Avidi fits for us in a really unique position. I think the fact that there is an Avidi already in Montana is impressive and it allows us to provide high quality sequencing to many clients locally we usually need to send out sequencing pretty far away due to the remoteness of our state and the region. Additionally, the AVD allows for extreme flexibility with its dual independent sides. We've only had the instrument for a few months. And as I said before, we've already had the R&D sample running on one side and service samples running on the other side simultaneously, which was, was awesome. Uh, so this flexibility allows us to accelerate our R&D efforts while still ensuring that our customers always have access to sequencing services. The utility of the AVD ensures it has a concrete place in our service offerings since it has almost limitless potential as to what applications it can run. Cool. Well, I, I love, you know, the dual nature of the services you offer and the internal R&D work. Um, with, with your experience so far, where do you think the AVD can add the most value to your customers or internal R&D work? From a project management and experimental design perspective, whether for our own internal projects or for working with a client, everyone is concerned with economy. While nucleic acid sequencing costs have decreased over the years, it's still one of the more expensive workflows to implement in a lab. So there's a balance that must be reached between your budget and the quality and coverage you achieve. With the Aviti, we feel like we don't have to compromise on quality to keep sequencing affordable, whether it be for our internal efforts or for our clients. That's great. Yeah. I mean, 
you know, one of our slogans is you can have it all with the Avivi. And, and we really are happy to hear that, you know, our customers take that to heart. Um, as you look ahead, what is most exciting to you about what is happening in the broader sequencing space? Uh, for me, I think it's the quality and this kind of new paradigm shift that Elman's ushering in of no longer talking about Q30 scores, but now we're pushing Q40 scores and higher. So additionally, I'm really excited to see all the new sequencing applications coming out that previously weren't thought of as possible applications for sequencing instruments in the past. From the business perspective, I think it's great. Other players like Element are entering the market. I think that um, you know healthy competition will really drive progress towards realizing the full potential of utilizing NGS technology for both research and clinical applications. From a science perspective, it's really easy to get excited about the idea of future flow cell chemistries that could further enable us to revolutionize multi-omic data generation, particularly uh, with respect to our unique needs of targeting a variety of low abundance analytes in EVs. That's so great. Thank you, guys.